with the power of editing we sync the audio hopefully the audio doesn't even need to be synced because i think i might have fixed it but i don't really know uh however i know that these past three videos have been pretty annoying in some places because of it and if you think it's annoying for you the viewer to watch just imagine how annoying it is for me who doesn't find who can't figure out how to fix it <laughs> uh anyway yeah so uh Welcome back to Epic War, this is Shamus99. Uh, we just beat level 6, which was pretty hard, and now we're on battle number 7, which is a whole 10,000 perfect score estimated above Battlefield 6. However, I got a few new toys to play around with, namely, Golem. These guys are walking into, like, the never-ending tide of power. Dude, they're coming in so thick this time, look how many there are already. You gotta be serious with me. Oh, I actually got the upgrade for 200 mana? Nice. A worthy investment, if you ask me. I also got the upgrade that gives me more mana per unit killed, so... As you can see, I'm already saving up to get a fucking... Golem or something, I don't know. But look how much mana I get! Like, this is crazy! Because I got the mana upgrade where I get more mana per kill. And the actual amount of mana that I'm starting to receive is a bit ridiculous. I'm just gonna let the arrows pelt these guys in the back down while my... A uh, small little armada I've called in will hopefully deal with these threats that are a little bit uh, more close to homeland security here. So, we're at 50 mana already. Uh, half tempted to get the next mana boost just so that I can even have enough to get a golem. I might as well. Double arrows are overpowered. I think that we can mutually agree on that. I mean, look at the damage I'm doing. Like, there's a lot of them. And there's a few big bastards in there, but... They're not able to do anything, they're just dying. I'm almost there. Hope he's is, I hope he's worth the, all the money I'm paying for him. He's a five to summon him? Yeah. I'm gonna kill that horse fucker now. Yo, look at that guy. He looks like Groot. <laughs> I am Gollum. <laughs> I can never be afraid. I have Gollum. I'm gonna summon a wizard. Dude, look at how much mana I get. It's crazy. It's like, I get so much just for killing like ogres and trolls and shit. Just because I got the extra mana. Yeah, I can definitely see how getting like 10,000 mana would be... A, a, no, 3,000 mana, blame my last. 3,000 mana would be obtainable. In a sense, but... Uh... Yeah, definitely, definitely getting a lot more than I was before. Maybe this is to be expected? I don't know, I feel like... I feel like even though I have more, my composition still isn't that powerful. Just because this guy's probably gonna kill everything. Actually, this guy in my... This guy in my... Oh, he just killed my goddamn golem. You son of a bitch. That gave me like a... That gave me like 70. <laughs> Enough to buy another golem. Hey, the stupid tower is shooting at me. I don't appreciate that. I just noticed the tower is shooting at me. <laughs> They've developed their own defense mechanism, it would appear. Good on them. I don't know if I can destroy that thing or not. Maybe I can. It's shooting at my wizards, funny enough. It's pretty smart, it aims for the things that the normal units can't hit. Can I drop arrows on that fireball, or is that just going to be a permanent feature now on their team? Because I don't like it! I I'm not going to brag about having so much stuff, though, because it's all going to die anyway, so... Chances are it's all going to die. I mean, I I I'm, I'm not an expert on dying or anything, but it's all going to die, especially with the horseman there. But I don't know, I can dream. I can dream that my units will be strong enough to kill horse guy on their, on a, on their own, especially with a golem there. It might actually be a, a feasible thing. That stupid sky thing is actually killing my things. Go, Gollum, go! Goddamn! Oh, he's dead. Gollum's not as good as I thought he was. He probably just needs to be upgraded. Alright, so... Now... It's just a matter of getting back over there and trying to deal some more damage again. So, so far, Gollums have seemed to be uh, overall disappointing. I thought they would be able to tank more damage than they actually can. But they can't, so it's unfortunate. But I am going to buy another one just because, you know, balanced army composition. Buy another wizard because you can never have too many wizards. I have three of them out there already. Maybe if I just get enough wizards, I'll be literally unstoppable. Maybe. Just maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Look at the small army approaching. I mean, it's, it's basically trash, but I thought it would be appropriate to have a... I say small, this is a pretty large armada. But they'll all die within like three hits, so. They're just there to make my wizards look better. Um, all of these little guys might be pretty good against the that brown thing and the and the slime ogre, but 
Other than that, once the horse dude comes out, it's it's game over, man. It's game over. Deal some damage to the castle. Oh, they just... I'm looking at the enemy units at the castle spawns, and they just... Ooh, boy. Yep. All good things must come to an end, right? <laughs> like that. I don't know, with all the wizards I have... You think I'd be able to do enough significant damage to this horse fucker? But the answer is no, the horse fucker's gonna kill everything. Look at all the wizards I have, and all the damage they're dealing. It's actually really fucking cool. Fortunately... Oh my god! Um... Okay, wizards OP! <laughs> the only thing that's hurting them is, uh... Is the, uh, thing on the tower. Oh my god, they hurt the tower. Nothing can stop the unstoppable tide of wizardism. I did not think that those wizards would be able to kill the horse dude on their own. That's crazy. So once the castle dies, it'll die. And at this rate, that castle's not gonna live for much longer, so... <laughs> wizards are freaking crazy. I, I'm glad I got the upgrade for them, of all things, because it's clear that that was the right choice. I didn't expect to be able to buy so many so quickly, but all of a sudden now I'm able to buy a metric fuck ton of them. Uh, golems, unfortunately, a bit expensive, and I honestly wouldn't say they're worth the price, just because of how quickly they die. I expected them to soak up a bit more damage than that, but I guess I need to upgrade them, right? But, I mean, the wizards were kind of mediocre too, and that dragon's not going to be able to do anything, because this castle's going to be dead before he can. Get the fuck out of here, dragon, you dumb piece of mother shit! Be gone! Oh my god, the castle's still alive? Excuse me? Look at its health bar. Are you gonna try to tell me that it's still alive? Really? You gonna bull- Okay, oh my god, the wizards are so good. <laughs> the wizards are like, okay, okay, stop. <laughs> also, yeah, 50,000 experience. Is that it? Click. Uh, 50,000 experience? I mean, damn. I was expecting more. <laughs> It's obviously a joke, I wasn't expecting more, that's a lot. Um, I think that mana gain, maxing that out, it's a pretty good idea. Get the next upgrade for the castle, the last one costs 25,000. Um, and 30,000 that I can put into actual troop upgrades. I'm not going to buy the blue dragon or the angel, just because again, they're a little bit more expensive than I think I can realistically handle. I also want to get this, but no. Um... So I'm gonna get an upgrade for you, you, and you, and I still have enough more for more upgrades. 10,000. I can put another upgrade into these guys. Wow. Um, I can almost get these guys to level 4. They're almost maxed out. Jesus. Uh, dwarves cost 225 mana. Okay. I know how dwarves work. Um, I think the unit that honestly did me the best was wizard, so I'm gonna give the last upgrade to them. That's 645 left, so I guess those are some good investments. Save. So battle number eight. We are over halfway through. Well, after battle eight, we'll be over halfway through the game. It's funny because I'm already getting close to maxing out a few of my things, and I'm barely getting to halfway through this game. Um, I don't know what the final battle holds, but I think that battle eight seventy. Th Whoa! This one's double. This one's double what this one is. How the hell is it double? I'm really scared of battlefield number eight. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> but we're gonna jump into it in this in this video. This video might be a little bit longer than normal, which I don't even care about. Uh, what changes? Oh my god, look how quickly I fire. I was like, what changed about the arrows? Oh, they fire at the freaking rate of sound. I don't know, I wonder what the elemental arrows are gonna be like, like the freaking fire arrows and the uh, electrified arrows. They're probably gonna be like this, but ba maybe better? I don't know. I mean, this is pretty good. I don't know why I would ever want anything more than this. And also, I got some major upgrades for my troops. I think my, uh, what are they called? Uh, hobbits are maxed out. I think. I might not, I might be incorrect there. Pretty sure I maxed them out, though. And just look at the mana. This, this game has gone from, uh, 0 to 100 pretty fast over these past couple of rounds that I've been playing. But I guess that's to be expected. It's pretty, it's a pretty good thing, too, if you ask me. Uh, wizards are gonna be the ones that I really want to get out there just because I got so many upgrades for them. This horse dude's taking it in the in the ass, like actually taking it in the ass. Get that crap out of here. 
definitely want to kill that horse guy. I can kill everything else on my own, but the horse guy might need a small amount of assistance um, from some uh, airborne attacks that aren't hitting my golem in the back of the head. So can I kill the horse dude on my own? Like, I know I killed that last one, but I had a lot more wizards than I have now. Just basically wizard it up. Um, how much damage do my wizards do now? Ten times four, so they almost do twice what they did when I first got them. Which is pretty good, considering now I have like three of them. Oh baby, come on, let that horse dude get in range of the arrow fire. Come on, is he in range? He's so close. Oh yeah, okay, now he walked into range. There we go. The only thing that might be able to stop me at this point is a dragon, which actually is probably going to be coming very soon. So, Because uh, the amount of wizards I have accumulated is pretty redonkulous. I don't foresee how they can stop me. Even the horse dude's going to just come out and die. He might kill all of my front line, but the wizards will live on. And that laser beam doesn't do nearly enough damage, so... Yeah, the horse dude's going to die as soon as he comes out. And oh my god, their castle's already dying. Christ. Look at their castle. Jeez. I like how my uh oh my uh dwarves are actually kinda able to stand up to the horse fucker too now. They're at least able to hold him off so that my uh actual damage can get in there and put in some work. I am noticing the dragon though, it's a little unfortunate, but Yeah, see my my dwarf took like four or five hits from that guy. That's pretty impressive. Also that, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to have enough firepower without my arrows to kill the dragon, so... Uh, all I can do is just kind of pick off this damage right now, and uh, get as much in as I can, and then get out, try again. Unfortunate, I know. Makes me kind of sad. These wizards are actually... Hold on, let me keep sending spam. Cause, uh, what the fuck happened to the dragon? Are you telling me these wizards are strong enough to kill the dragon? Pretty cool. Might as well send some more, right? Obviously, six or so of them isn't enough. <laughs> and then just the never-ending tide of hobbits and elven swordsmen, light, light elves, as you, if you would. <laughs> I mean, it's just a never-ending stream. My video call, my uh, frame rate's gonna be dropping so much whenever I'm trying to edit this. <laughs> because of all the troops on screen. <laughs> Wizards are just unstoppable, man. What can I say? Kind of like Laslin's games when the uh, fucking, uh, those rock throwing fuckers were all gonna group together and it made, it made doing anything impossible. This is how it feels to be on the other end of that spectrum. Freaking Wizards, man. Goddamn. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the final upgrade for Wizards after this just because, of course. Cause, I mean, look at that. Incredible. Incredible. And then, of course, I get so much mana for killing each enemy. I feel like the upgrade paths that I've chosen have been pretty smart for what I'm trying to do here. I mean, there's other things I could have gotten, but I think especially, like, keeping my arrows, uh, stuff like that, I think that that was all a good choice. Because I just won that round, too. That made that one look easy. 38,000 experience. Not as much as before, but that's because I finished that one a lot faster. So, click. Uh, Wizards, the last one cost 11,000. That's it. Boop maxed out no upgrade available mm -hmm. okay so i did not max out hobbits and dwarf still has a little bit to go um golem cost 7500 um and then blue dragon 25 2500 mana is just so much <laughs> excuse me um i could get the last upgrade for arrow jesus a standard arrow with a quick reload speed upgrade to create a powerful barrage i'm gonna get it i am maxed out arrows <laughs> Yeah, save. Well, alright guys, this has been episode, what is this, episode 4 of uh, Epic War. As you can see, uh, it's starting to get a little bit easier, simply because I'm getting so much more mana than I was before. So, a little bit more fast-paced, going to be a little bit less editing, I guess. Although, I think I'm going to try to make this video about 20 minutes long. I'm guesstimating, I'm guesstimating 20 minutes. Probably going to be 18, 19 minutes whenever you... Uh, watching me or hearing me say this part anyways uh besides the point thank you all for watching this has been Seamus 99 and really enjoying this game looking forward to playing some more of it and i will see all of you in the next video bye guys